This is a great story. People might not know the background. Chris and Jamie Sanniger have done a fantastic job bringing you up. You didn't have the benefit of Olympic boxing. You didn't have the benefit of TV backing or a big promoter at the early stages of your career. They took you all over the country. You've done it the hard way. What it means to you to lift that red and gold belt on Saturday night and I mean, finally become the world champion? It means the world to me. I love my team, I love my hometown, my country. It means the world to me. Like you said, I started right from the bottom, fighting on the small ball shows, a little money, no TV coverage. I worked my way up from like, the Welsh area title, Celtic title, British, Commonwealth, two WBC international titles, two, two eliminators, and now the big one. I, I, I can't afford to lace it. I'm the boss of the best of my ability and become the new champion. Can't wait for that fight, it's a great fight. Another, which, what can you say about this fight? I think uh, as a fan, absolutely mouth-watering potential. Um, a guy who has achieved so much already in the sport of boxing, he's won world titles at three different rates, the current WBC lightweight champion. Um, and I'd like to also welcome uh, Robert Diaz from Golden World will be translating for Jorge. Jorge, this fight, could be one of the fight of the year's contenders everybody's talking about in the UK. Um, tell us what you expect ahead of Saturday. Well, the truth is that, first of all, I want to thank all of you for your invitation to come here in Londres. Thank you for the opportunity to go to the boy, to the team for the training team, for being always there and supporting me in the good and the bad things in my sala. I'm happy, I'm happy because it's a new challenge, it's an opportunity inmensa mi carrera como, como boxeador y, y de verdad que esto es muy importante para mí. Well, first of all, I want to thank everyone for being here, the press. Um, Eddie, thank you very much for the opportunity. My promoters, Taken Boxing and Golden Boy. My trainer, Ismael Salas, who's back there for all the hard work we put into his camp for this fight. And what can I say? I'm ready. I'm, I'm very happy and anxious. Eh... Como decía, de verdad que esto es algo muy importante para mí, se me abrieron muchas puertas. El año pasado cerré muy bien el año con un tercer título mundial. Ahora hay compromisos más grandes porque es mi primera defensa de mi tercer título, así que estamos más que preparados para esta gran talla que vamos a dar el sábado. And last year, the doors opened, the third world title. I'm very happy, but this fight means much more to me than winning the world title. This is the most important fight in my life. And we're going to go and show everyone a great performance and defend our title here. Thank you. Okay, um, a lot of people talk, I'm talking to you as a fan now. Um, two very gifted technical fighters, two fighters that, that punch very hard. What kind of fight are you expecting on Saturday night? You've obviously studied Kevin Mitchell. Have you seen a fight playing out? El plan pues ya lo hicimos, el plan ya lo, lo, lo dejamos eh, bien, bien hecho en el campamento, en todos los espacios que hicimos. Eh, trabajamos con diferentes espacios, tanto como nosotros como derecho, ya que hemos estudiado bastante, eh, no, muchas ocasiones a, a Kevin Mitchell, así que estamos más que reyes, estamos más que reyes, no me preocupa absolutamente nada, ya mañana terminamos eh, cerrando bien con el pesaje, de hecho ya estoy en el peso, así que ya he estado a robarme el show y hacer el trabajo que tenemos que hacerlo limpio, inteligente y... y y siempre pendiente de, de, de cualquier cosa que pueda pasar. Well, we started them very well. We had a great camp. Uh, we sparred with Southpaw, we sparred with Orthodox fighters, knowing uh, the kind of fighter we have in front of us, knowing that he's a hungry fighter and coming with everything. But the plan's already set. We, we've worked very hard, and we're just waiting tomorrow. We're already at weight, get the weigh-in over, and on Saturday night, steal the show. We will steal the show. Thank you, Robert, and uh, the same to yourself and Oscar de la Hoya. Always a pleasure. Eddie, uh, I want to thank you, and then once again, you put on a fantastic show. I mean, we're excited. Uh, the atmosphere that we're going to get in this arena, no one wants to miss it. Um, it's always great working with you, and these type of cards is what keep your boxing alive. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. Kevin Mitchell, now, now's the time on Saturday night. You walk out in front of 18,000. We know the reception you'll get as. as London's favourite son, and a chance to win that brilliant gold belt over there. You ready? I'm ready, you know, I've been working a long time. I haven't really come out of camp since my last fight, you know. Um, over the years, I've been a fly up, always be, I've been about three months out, I've worked ten months out. This time, man, I've kept myself in the gym, I've been working hard, living like an athlete, working with Tony, you know, putting some places. This fight's coming on, I, I 
100% work for that, I fancy the fight big. And in my eyes, I'm 100% not seeing that uh, distance. It's going, be, it's going to be a big fight. It's going to be a big fight. I'm going to put it, you know, I'm going to put it all in. I'm going to put it all in. Obviously, you know, teaming up with Tony, I was watching Sky's coverage last night of uh, your fight against John Murray, which yeah. the level that you're fighting at now is just you know, incomparable to what we saw in the like of John Murray, a fight that you actually went on and on, on won. That, that level you're at now, we saw you destroy Daniel Estrada with ease. Perfect timing now for the whole game of Irish fight, but we know it's a fantastic fight. Yeah, you know, all going right, it's a free work world champion, it's a great fight. I work very hard at working to get this fight and in the gym working very hard on time and working on things to beat this guy. When Tony speak about things and we talk about things, if it was a fight I didn't really fancy on doing it, I'd say to Tony, I'm out of depth here, but I'm straight up, I fancy this fight, I really do fancy beating this free world, free world world champion. It's a job I know, it's an act, it's an hard work, it's going to be our job, it's going to be a sort of fight where it's going to get nasty, it's going to be gritty. That's what I'm best at, and that's what I'm going to be good at, and that's what I'm going to do with it. And finally, it's been an incredible journey for you. We know you, we know the story, you've grown up so much, yeah. you've trained so hard for this fight, from you know, the disappointment of Cat Stevens, the disappointment of Ricky Burns, yeah. what it means to you on Saturday to win that world title with him in front of those fans to go to. Yeah, I mean, everything, man, everything to me, especially in front of all of the you know, all my West Ham fans are going to be there. It's an 18,000 8, 8, packed crowd. Um, you can just tell how much pressure is today about how much it's um this whole show is um got everyone everyone's um what do you call it? Attention. Attention, yeah. Um so I'm just excited really to be be a be amongst it's such a big show for all title fights. There's a lot lot there's a big packed undercard on the show as well, so just wanna get in and do my job. And I'll promise you I'll become more champion on this fight like that. Adam Smith, obviously Adam, uh, as a fight fan yourself, I know we've just back from Boston talked about just about every fight on this card, had our arguments and our debates on who will win. Virtually every fight is, is arguable and uh, can't wait now to settle it. It's, it's brilliant, isn't it? I mean, last week, Durrell, Miguel, take your pick, didn't James do it ever so well to come back with a, with a world title? I think it's given British boxing, if it needed anything, another shot in the arm. Uh, it's a massive period for us at the moment. Um, we were sat here yesterday and we had a, a selection of, of pick and fights there. You know, that, that's good enough for any car. This, again, today, I mean, Kevin was here yesterday just as a fight fan. I, I'm a fight fan, like you already. And I think this is going to be a, a tremendous night on Saturday. Big soft spot for the man next to me, Kevin Mitchell. Uh, what a great story it would be if he could become a world champion. But, you know, I've been a big, big admirer of Jorge Linares for a long, long time. He's a really, really top draw fighter. Um, I think it's, a, it's an excellent uh, matchup, which I, I can't wait for. Uh, Lee Selby, um, I believe this could be his time. He's got so much skill, and, and the way, as Eddie says, that he's been developed by, by the excellent Sanagar team, you know, that win over Stephen Smith and beyond has been terrific. But he's got it all to prove against Evgeny Gradovich in his fifth defense of the world title. It just doesn't come easy at this level. Frankie Gavin, another fighter I've really admired since the amateur days. It's not quite set for him yet as a pro, but listen, there's no pressure on his shoulders. He looks fitter than I've ever seen him. I think he's going to give it absolutely everything on Saturday. And Kelbrook, we've seen. Now he's got some momentum. Now he's back firing after what he did to Jojo down in Sheffield. You know, this is his time, and, and I'm glad to see that he hasn't taken his foot off the gas, that he's kept in shape, and I, and I expect a pretty uh, devastating performance from Kel. But, you know, Frankie Gavin has got every chance to cause the upset if he's firing right, because his boxing ability is, is really exceptional too. Um, I think it's a great night. I hope you've enjoyed the shows this week uh, that we've given you. Uh, last night it was, it was Lee and, and Kevin's turn to shine. Tonight on Ringside we've got Paulie Malinaji who's over and Spencer Oliver, James DeGale uh, in Studio 2. Tomorrow, final countdown from the O2. Uh, a mix of uh, a big atmosphere there at the Indigo for the way in. And then Saturday night from 5 o'clock on the Sky Sports box office. A seven hour feast. And uh, I know Eddie won't be leaving his seat at Ringside and neither will I. Thank you. Thank you. Just to reiterate what Adam said there, 1 p.m. Um, for the weigh-in tomorrow. Uh, that's what time the first bout will be weighed in from, from 1 p.m. at the Indigo at the
go to. There'll be a fan zone for all fans to come down and meet fighters. Uh, James Miguel, back from his world title victory, will be there. Carl Froch, a WBA super bantamweight champion. Scott Quigg, a world title challenger. Anthony Crowell will all be there to meet the fans. Come down, enjoy the atmosphere. And a big thank you to everyone in this room who's played a part, the promoters from around the world, and of course our broadcast partners around the world, but particularly Sky Sports. This is a card that I haven't seen before in British boxing, certainly in my time. And I'm so excited to sit there from 5 o'clock and watch championship fights all the way to the 11.45 that could go either way. Good luck to all the fighters on the card and the six people on this table. Enjoy. This is the absolute pinnacle of world boxing, world championship boxing. Your chance to sign. For those defending their titles, honour it and stand by your shield. For those who are challenging for the world titles, Live the dream. You've worked all your life for this moment. Go out there and put on a show. Everybody enjoy the night. Savour this moment for British Boxing and uh, Royal Britannia on Saturday night. Thank you very much. <laughs> We're going to approach up now and we'll have heads up on the top stage and everyone will be available for one-on-one. -on -one. Thank you.